Liquid Lunch Live is brought to you by Panzoni Vodka. Hey, welcome back. It's Friday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. Uh, I love those segments when we mix it up because there are really no shows on television where you can get some thoughtful conversation by people on different sides of the political spectrum um, and kind of find some common ground like we all agree Trump's out of control trying to buy green land. But uh, Frank Morano joins me again. And uh, uh, one of the big issues that's facing America, certainly faces in New York uh, as one of the key centers uh, of, of this uh, opioid and drug abuse debate, um, it's really one of the things in the gun control, and mental health and, and drug abuse. All these things contribute to the decay of our society in many ways. And uh, joining us today to talk about What's being done about it is Mallory Newberger. She's the author of the book Sober House and uh, an executive director of uh, many uh, sober houses. Mallory, thank you for giving us a few minutes today and uh, congratulations on the book Sober House. Thank you and thank you for having me. So, Mallory, uh, you know New York State is probably one of the worst states in the country for, for opioids. Um, but what re- your boots on the ground, we like to have on people that know where the rubber meets the road, that are really in the trenches. Uh, what's being done and what can we do better? Well, I think the most important thing is to educate people that addiction is an epidemic and it is a disease. So there's a lot of shame and guilt that goes along with addiction and it keeps a lot of people sick and unable to get the help they need. And that's what happened to me. I became addicted to drugs and I didn't want anyone to know. And I would have died if I hadn't found help and if I hadn't been willing to ask for it. And the stigma is just so terrible. Um, People judge us if we're alcoholic or drug addicts, and it's no different than having cancer, and it's not our fault. So I wrote this book because I'm trying not to hide behind my disease anymore and to be really open with the fact that I'm a drug addict in recovery and I have an amazing life today free of alcohol and drugs. Mallory, what exactly is a sober house? John mentioned that you help run several of these and that's the title of your book. What is a sober house? So I own sober houses in in South Florida and Typically, sober houses are places that people go after they go to inpatient treatment, and they're homes where you're breathalyzed, you're drug tested, you're kept accountable, and they're a bridge back to life. So the time you spend in a sober house is time to really get your feet planted on the ground in your recovery so that you're able to go back and live the fullest and best life that's, that that's, you're uh, possible. That's terrific. I, I was really glad that you were able to be on the show today because uh, obviously you, we have an alcohol sponsor and the show is called Liquid Lunch and John and I will occasionally have a martini on the show and I don't want anybody to think that we're promoting drinking alcohol to excess or and certainly not doing drugs. I am curious, if someone's watching this show and they'll occasionally have a three martini lunch or uh, they'll get drunk from time to time, How do you know when you have a problem? When do you go from being an occasional heavy drinker to a problem drinker? Every person has to really decide for themselves if they have a problem. And I think the key factors are How is it affecting our lives? Are we making excuses? Are we hiding the amount that we're drinking? Are we unable to show up for work or for family obligations? Are we getting arrested for driving while intoxicated? Um, You know, those are various things. And a lot of people end up getting arrested, so they, they have to get help. But For people like me, I was a high-functioning career woman with children, living in Manhattan, married. I hadn't lost anything, but I had a hole in my soul that was so dark and deep, and I was really miserable, and I realized that I could not stop on my own. And 
it was going to kill me the way it killed my mother and my grandmother. So I finally went to a doctor and broke down and told him what was happening. And he told me that I was going to die if I didn't go and get help. All right. Well, Mallory Newberger, thank you for your uh, story. And thank you for the book Sober House. Please go out and check it out. And uh, if you see a friend in need, uh, reach out. And uh, we'll be back right after this.